Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite features of the app and it is that you don't have to play the app with your hands only. You can use a MIDI controller such as the iRig Blueboard, which we love, is very compact, easy and what I love about this MIDI controller is that it's Bluetooth. So in order to connect this to the DreamFoot app, we need to do one simple thing inside of the Blueboard before we do anything on the app. We're going to turn on the device in the back by holding C. So I'm going to hold it, turn it on. Once it blinks, it's already Bluetooth enabled. Now we're going to go to the DreamFoot app, go to settings, MIDI. First we're going to go to Bluetooth MIDI and select it. Once it's connected, we're going to go back into MIDI in, select iRig Blueboard as our MIDI in device, press settings again. Now we're going to press MIDI map that is located next to settings and everything that is selected white or highlighted in white can be mapped or assigned to these keys. So I'm going to go ahead and assign my sustain first. I'm going to assign it to the D button, my play to the C, my up arrow to A, my down arrow to B. I'm going to press MIDI map again and I'm going to start playing. So I'm going to turn on sustain with D and I'm going to start playing through the chord progression. So I'm going to press C to move around. If I want to move to the next progression, press B. And press sustain again to turn it off. Very simple, very intuitive great tool for you to use when you're trying to play live and I'm going to give you one more trick and it's that if you go to settings and we go back into MIDI and you select advanced MIDI settings there's a brand new mode that we added to the app called momentary if you select that you don't even need to enable sustain what it does is that while I press the play button it holds the chord and as soon as I let go, it releases the chord. Check this out. Sustain is off and I'm going to press the play. Press it again. So this is a great feature that resembles more the actions of a piano player. When he presses the chord, the chord plays. When he releases, it stops playing. So this is a great option for you. Make sure you check out all the other features inside of advanced MIDI settings so that you can find the best one for your MIDI controller. 